application we are taking and what is routing in angular guides routing in angular application help us to navigate across the application guide from one view to another view next question what is redirect to property in routing guides the redirect to property of routes is useful in defining the route guides when we want a particular pattern to redirect to some route instead of defining the route component we simply redirect it to another route guide we will see the example here so in this example we are defining the routes here if you see the first route we are defining the path there is no path and we are redirect to login path so if you see the last route we are assigning the login to the path so if we redirect to login so it will reflect to the our last route it will re reload our login component okay guys so it means that we are redirecting from login to the last route login component okay guys next question what is path match property in routing guys you see here uh, we use the path match property we assign the path match here full okay guys so now we learn how what is this path match property so guys uh, here we assign the routes here three routes and uh, we are redirect to component one and we use path match equal to full so let read this path match property which is required for redirects tells the router how it should match the url provided in order to redirect to the specified route guys if the path match is full is provided the router will redirect to a component one if the entire url matches the empty path okay guys when starting the application it will now automatically navigate to the route for the component one so this is the path match property in routing guys okay guys so we are moving to the next question here difference between router outlet and router link guys router outlet tells the router where to display routed view with the help of router link directive you can link the routes of your application right from the html template the router link is the selector for the router link directive that turns user clicks into a router navigation you can assign a string to the router link this directive generates the link based on the route path okay guys so this is the difference between router route outlet and router link what is wildcard routing guys the wildcard route is basically used in angular application to handle the invalid urls guys a wildcard route has a path consisting of two asterisks guys it matches every url the router will select this route if it can't match a route earlier in the configuration guides so this is the example of wildcard routing guys we are taking here path double asterisk and we are rendering to the customer error component guys now we have to note here that the wildcard route should be the last route in your router configuration guys if we define this path having the wildcard at the top then it will execute first every time and none of your routes will come in use guys it will not work okay guys so take care of this uh, this is the example of uh, wildcard routing you can see that we have used uh, wildcard routing at the last so this is the sequence we are using here okay guys so take care of this sequence what is angular router guys so guys angular router is an official routing library managed by the angular core team angular router allows user to navigate from one page to another without page reload guys angular router packaged as at the rate angular slash router guys we are going to next question guys do i need routing module always guys when the application is simple so answer is no guys but if the application is complex then you should use it is recommended guys next question what is activated route in routing guys activated route is an interface and it contains the information about the route associated with the component loaded out there guys it can also be used to pass the data from one component to another component 
using route such as id, flag, state, etc. What is base href, guys? So, guys, when you observe index.html file, then you see a tag base and attribute href. In the blue image, the, we are seeing that the base tag below the title tag. So, guys, what is this tag? When using uh, path location strategy, you need to tell the browser what will be your prefix to the requested path to a generated URL guide. Okay, guys. Next question What is the difference between router link and the router link with bracket? How should you use each one, guys? Router link with without bracket, guys. Without bracket, you are passing a string only. You can't change it, guys. It's hard coded and it will be like that throughout your app, guys. Router link with bracket, guys. When you use bracket, it means you are passing a bindable property, guys. A variable like this. But with the variables, you have the opportunity to make it dynamic, right? Guys, okay, guys. So, guys, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, share, comment, and press the bell icon, guys. Thank you for watching, guys.